On Tuesday, jurors in the Cardell Hayes retrial heard from people who were on the scene shortly after Will Smith was shot and killed. Two NOPD officers took the stand as well as a 911 worker who filed the call for help. One witness said he was at a nearby bar off duty when he heard a screaming match. Then it got out of control rapidly. The screaming was followed by multiple gunshots. And when he arrived on the scene, he found Will Smith shot in the back with what he describes as just a flutter of a pulse. That's just one of the testimonies jurors heard today, but they all give similar accounts of what happened on April 9th, 2016. After a jury selection delay, the defense and prosecution both gave their opening remarks, which contradicted one another. Prosecutors say this crime was no accident arguing that Hayes fired every bullet inside of his magazine except for one. They're consistently using each witness to establish that this is not a self-defense case. But defense attorneys say he shot the gun in self-defense, protecting himself against Smith, who he thought was going to shoot him. Hayes attorneys say he didn't even realize that two of his bullets hit Smith's wife, Raquel. But the former NOPD officer that detained Hayes after the incident said she never heard him express remorse or shock when he heard that Raquel had been shot. Raquel will likely be one of the first witnesses to take the stand tomorrow. As Smith's wife and witness to the crime, she offers a perspective that no other witnesses have. She can humanize Will Smith and talk about him as a family man, a father, a, a husband, a brother, those types of things. Um, talk about his career, talk about what it meant to the city when we won the Super Bowl, all of that. And, and that's going to really bring some emotional impact to um, this awful situation that happened. The trial is expected to start back at 930 on Wednesday morning. At Orleans Parish Criminal Court, Amelia Strahan, WWL, Louisiana.